Good evening and welcome to our awards ceremony. I would like to start this evening tonight with a land acknowledgement. The University of Manitoba campuses are located on the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota and Dene peoples and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. We respect the treaties that were made on these territories. We acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past and we dedicate ourselves to move forward in partnership with Indigenous communities in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anastasia Kilakis Chalakis, the Dean of the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry at the University of Manitoba, and I'd like to formally welcome all of you. Traditionally, the awards evening is a highlight of our academic year. It is a night we celebrate our students, staff, and faculty's achievements. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic last year, we were unable to host this event. So this evening is even more special as we will be celebrating the accomplishments of some of our students that are about to graduate in a few months. So for our students, as you may be, as many of you are aware, we know that the educational program at our college is very challenging. If you layer the challenges of our programs with the COVID-19 pandemic and the labor disruption that have occurred this last year, we, you just get a glimpse of the challenges um, that all of our students had to face. The students that receive this awards tonight have not only overcome these challenges, but they have excelled in the face of adversity. This quest for excellence is an attribute that will transcend this institution and become a defining character trait. To our students, as soon to be healthcare professionals, you'll continue to challenge yourselves throughout your lives to develop new skills, learn new technology and become the best possible clinicians and healthcare providers that you can be. You have started down this path already and we're here to recognize, encourage and applaud you. For us as educators and administrators, evenings like this are sources of fulfillment and satisfaction. We take pride in your accomplishments and are invested in your success. Just ask any of our instructors and they will tell you without the slightest hesitation that helping our students succeed is the most rewarding aspect of our work at the college. It is important to note, however, that in our tightly knit community, our successes are interdependent. We're very lucky to work with dedicated staff that support our students and academics alike. Without them, we would be unable to function. Our staff, like our students, have gone to extraordinary lengths to support our mission, especially during this time. For this, we truly thank them. Members of our support staff will be honored this evening for their commitment to our collective efforts. Their dedication to our students and the institution is very outstanding. Finally, what is a house without its foundation? The pillars of this institution, our faculty need to be acknowledged. I consider myself very fortunate to be working with individuals that are so committed to education and have devoted themselves to help our students flourish. The honorees of tonight's evening have been nominated and selected by their students. They are hardworking, dedicated and inspirational professionals. I wish to thank them for all of their contributions to our college and for their ongoing support. We also have some special guests with us tonight. They're members of our professional collective that have very generously sponsored some of the awards that will be distributed tonight. When your name is announced, could I please ask you to turn on your camera so you may be acknowledged. Mr. Kevin Riley from Henry Shine, Canada. Welcome. Ms. Shannon Nickel from the Manitoba Dental Hygienist Association to present the Award of Excellence for the Second Year Dental Hygiene. Welcome, Shannon. Dr. Rakesh Mehta to present the Troy Solsi Memorial Award in Dentistry. Dr. Nancy Young to present the International Oh, there you are. Hello, Rakesh. <laughs> Welcome. 
Dr. Nancy A. Young to present the International College of Dentist Scholarship Award. Welcome. Dr. Chris Kodak to present the Alexander H. Kodak Scholarship in Restorative Dentistry. I'm not sure that Dr. Kodak was able to join us tonight. I'll wait another minute. So to our award sponsors, we thank you very much for your support of this evening. There are also many other donors who support the awards that are unable to attend tonight. As you may have determined by now, we have a full evening ahead of us, so we're going to get underway. I'd like now to introduce Dr. Laura McDonald, the Acting Director of the School of Dental Hygiene and my co-host for this evening. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Good evening, guests, award sponsors, award recipients, family, friends, and colleagues. It's lovely to be with you all this award ceremony honoring individuals who've been recognized for their excellence in teaching, for others for their outstanding support of student learning and the creation of a healthy and respectful place of learning, and still for others for their stellar learning journey to become healthcare professionals, dental hygienists and dentists who through their devotion and passion excel in their studies, professionalism, and contribution to the learning community at the Dr. Gerald Nizek College of Dentistry and School of Dental Hygiene. Though it takes a community to evoke and create change, change that results in continual quality health care that is patient, client-centered, and leads to health and health outcomes, it too takes people such as those for whom awards are named after, for collectives such as professional associations who sponsor awards of excellence and for those in receipt of the award. There is great history embedded in the awards, recognition of the now and a promise embodied within the awards for the future where health is known by all people. Congratulations to the award recipients and many thanks to the award sponsors and hats off to the college and school for hosting the ceremony. Thank you, uh, Laura, very much for your remarks. So um, we will uh, get started with the next phase of our program. Forgive me one second. I am having a small computer issue as my screen appears to have frozen. As the Dr. Gerald Mesnick um, College of Dentistry, we know that it is our mission to ensure our students get the best education possible. We could never accomplish this without our excellent faculty. Each class was asked to vote on a member of our academic team who best exemplified classroom teaching and teaching with technology. I would like now to call on the following individuals to turn on their cameras when their name is called to receive recognition of their award. For the School of Dental Hygiene, um, class of 2022, the class voted Ms. Lorraine Glassford, School of Dental Hygiene instructor, to receive the award for classroom and preclinical teaching to dental hygiene to students. Congratulations, Lorraine. For the Dr. Gerald Nesnik College of Dentistry, class of 2024, Dr. Noriko Borberg, the Department of Restorative Dentistry, is receiving the Outstanding Teaching to Dentistry One Students Award. Congratulations, Dr. Borberg. For the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry, class of 2023, Dr. Christina Fusa, Department of Restorative Dentistry, receiving Outstanding Teaching to Dentistry Two students. Congratulations, Christina, that's well-deserved. Congratulations. For the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry, class of 2022, Dr. Vanessa Swain, Department of Restorative Dentistry, receiving outstanding teaching to Dentistry three students. Congratulations, Dr. Swain. Could I now please ask everyone to turn on their cameras again so we can recognize our next cohort. 
Presentation of Exceptional Support Staff Awards. So in addition to our faculty, each of our undergraduate classes also nominated and selected an outstanding staff member. I would now like to ask the following individual to turn off his camera and be recognized. Mr. Jose Correas, Dr. Gerald Nesnick College of Dentistry, Department of Clinical Services, receiving the Exceptional Service Award from Dentistry One, Two, and Three students. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to all the award recipients. We're now moving to the presentation of the Dean's Support Staff Award 2020-2021. Again, at our college, we also provide the Dean's Award for Outstanding Support Staff Member. This is a peer-nominated award and carries with it a certificate of achievement as well as financial support to participate in one annual conference that relates to the area of expertise. This award identifies the support staff member who has made the most positive impact over the past year. And I'm very pleased to announce this year's recipient from the Department of Clinical Support Services, Tristan Rodriguez, and um, who serves as our patient care coordinator lead. Congratulations, Tristan. Thank you. So now we will be moving on um, to our undergraduate 2020-2021 undergraduate awards from the School of Dental Hygiene. There are not many universities in Canada that offer educational training in dental hygiene. Not only is the University of Manitoba one of those schools, we believe it is amongst the best. I'd like to welcome Ms. Kaylee Warden, class advisor to the class of 2022, to present the awards of achievement for undergraduate students in the School of Dental Hygiene. Thank you, Kaylee. Good evening, everyone. Like our colleagues in dentistry, all of us at the School of Dental Hygiene are dedicated to ensuring that our students receive only the best possible training and education to prepare them for practice. Our students come to us eager to learn and always ready to put in their best effort. Some have displayed exceptional skills and abilities early on in their development. This has been reflected by the outstanding results earned by these students who we acknowledge tonight. I would like to now call on the following individuals to please turn on your camera when your name is announced. Once I've announced which awards you have earned, please turn off your camera so the next person can be announced. Charmaine Carlos. Hi, Charmaine. Charmaine has earned a place in the Dean's Honor Roll with a minimum GPA of 3.8 and has also received Manitoba Dental Association Scholarship in Dental Hygiene for the highest GPA in first year dental hygiene. Congratulations, Charmaine. Miranda Hall. Miranda is receiving the Rhonda Schwartz Memorial Prize in Dental Hygiene for outstanding professionalism and positive role modeling. Congratulations, Miranda. Nikki Nava. Nikki is receiving the Manitoba Dental Hygienist Association Award for excellence in second year with a minimum GPA of 3.0 and for best incorporation of didactic and lab work in clinic. Nikki is also receiving the Endowment Fund Scholarship in Dental Hygiene for outstanding communication skills with instructors, staff, and patients and students while displaying leadership ability and positive role modeling for others. Congratulations, Nikki. Vidi Patel. Vidi is receiving the Dr. Bonnie J. Trodden Scholarship in Dental Hygiene for a sessional GPA of at least 3.0 and for showing excellent clinical promise, role modeling, and a consistently positive attitude. Congratulations, Vidi. And last but not least is one of our Bachelor of Science students in the Dental Hygiene Program, Rebecca Nickel. Rebecca is receiving the University of Manitoba School of Dental Hygiene Alumni Association Travel Award, which is awarded to a full-time student in their final year of the Diploma in Dental Hygiene or a part-time or full-time student in the Bachelor of Science Dental Hygiene Program. 
with good academic standing, who is a member of the University of Manitoba School of Dental Hygiene Alumni Association, and who will attend a meeting or conference to present their research results. Congratulations, Rebecca. A sincere congratulations to you all and to all the award winners tonight. Let me add my congratulations to all of you. And um, again, thank you very much, Kaylee, for presenting these awards. So now at the Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry, our academics always try to assist their students whenever possible. In fact, every year, an advisor from our faculty voluntarily joins a first year class and stays with them throughout the four year course of their studies. In keeping with our longstanding tradition, we will be calling upon our class advisors to present the awards to their specific class. So we'll begin with the awards uh, for first year dentistry. It is my pleasure to welcome the class advisor for the class of 2024. Please welcome from the Department of Restorative Dentistry, Dr. Borberg. Good evening. Despite all the challenges we have faced over the past two years, I would like to commend the class of 2024 for their efforts to stand by each other no matter what. They have demonstrated a strong bond that certainly will carry them through the years of dental school and beyond. I would like to now call upon the following award recipients from the class of 2024. Please turn on your cameras when your name is announced. Once I have announced which award you have earned, please turn off your cameras so the next person can be announced. So first off, Jasmine Dancho. Jasmine has earned the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry Bronze Medal in Head, Neck and Nervous System Part 1. Congratulations, Jasmine. Peter Lee. Peter has earned a place on the Dean's Honor Roll with a minimum GPA of 3.8, as well as the Leonard Kruger Scholarship for High Academic Standing in First Year Dentistry. Congratulations. Mitch Lyle. Mitch has earned a place on the Dean's Honor Roll with a minimum GPA of 3.8. Congratulations. Navi Mann. Navi is receiving the Dentistry Class of 2001 Legacy Prize, which is awarded to the student who has shown the most improvement throughout the dental anatomy course. Congrats, Navi. Eileen Ovesi. Eileen has earned Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8, as well as the Shaw Laboratories Limited Scholarship for highest overall academic average in first year. Congratulations. Nathan Peters. Nathan is being awarded the Endowment Fund Scholarship in Dentistry for high academic standing, communication, leadership, and role modeling. Congratulations. Emily Schumacher. Emily has earned the Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8. She is also receiving the Manitoba Blue Cross Dental Scholarship for high academic standing in first year dentistry, as well as the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry Bronze Medal in Cell and Tissue Biology. Congratulations, Emily. Min Kyung Song. Min Kyung has earned Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8. Congratulations. Daniela Stacky. Danny is re receiving the Class of 2000 Spirit Award for academic achievement and bringing the class together. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the class of 2024 and thank you, Dr. Borberg, both as their advisor and for presenting the awards tonight. It is my pleasure now to welcome the class advisor for the class of 2023. Please welcome from the Department of Preventative uh, Dental Sciences, Dr. Fabio Pinheiro. Thank you, Dr. Pinheiro. Thank you. I am very proud of this class um, and it is a great honor to be their class advisor. This is a class of endurance, resiliency, and flexibility with their capacity of adjusting to new realities. I believe that they have what it takes to thrive in this field and compete 
always being committed to constant reflection, personal development, and continuing education. So tonight, they should all feel very proud of themselves and excited about the brilliant future ahead. A future that holds a way more than what they can imagine. I therefore congratulate them all. I would like now to call on the all word recipients for the class of 2023 to please turn on your camera when your name is announced. Once I have announced which all word or all words you have earned, please turn off your camera so the next person can be announced. The first one, Bronson Amiter. Okay, so Bronson is being awarded the Dr. Jared Misnick College of Dentistry's Bronze Medal for Nutrition in Dentistry. Congratulations, Bronson. Now it's Anson Chan. Anson has earned a place on the Dean's Honors Row with a minimum GPA of 3.8 and is being awarded the Dr. Baruta a. Olson Scholarship for Highest Standing in Lab and Didactic and Odontology One, the Sadie Carr Memorial Book Prize for Highest Standing in Fixed Prestodontics, the Dr. William F. Campbell Scholarship in Orthodontics for Highest Standing in Orthodontics Two, as well as the Manitoba Blue Cross Dental Scholarship for Highest Standing in Second Year Dentistry. Congratulations. Now, Reese Cochrane. Reese is receiving the Dental Faculty Women's Association Scholarship for significant improvement over the first two years of study. Congratulations. Okay, so it's now just Karen Pander. Just Karen is receiving the Dr. Jared Misnick College of Dentistry Bronze Medal for a structure and function of major organ systems and the Dr. Jared Misnick College of Dentistry Bronze Medal in Pathology and Microbiology One. Congratulations. Natalie Pasun. Natalie is receiving the Dr. Jones and Katie Young Scholarship in Dentistry for a minimum 3.5 GPA a professional attitude and positive role modeling. Congratulations, Natalie. And the next one is Berardino Petrelli. Berardino is receiving the Troy Salesley Memorial Award in Dentistry for a minimum GPA of three and best improvement in crown and bridge fixed prosthetics. Congratulations, congratulations Berardino. Ben, Ben is there. Okay, Ben Shelton. Ben is receiving a Dr. John M. Graham scholarship presented to the student who best combines scholastic achievement with good character and participation in extracurricular activities, as well as the Robert Day Memorial Award voted by classmates as most helpful with positive contributions to class morale. Congratulations. Christelle Tan. Christelle has earned Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8, the Dr. Paul Buchhalter Award for high standing in the didactic component of periodontology in a professional attitude. Congratulations, Christelle. Rita Wang. It is so much better to see you all without the masks. <laughs> Rita Wang has earned Dean's honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8 and is also receiving the endowment fund scholarship in dentistry for a high academic achievement, communication and leadership ability. Congratulations, Rita. And congratulations to you all for these well-deserved donors.
Thank you very much, Dr. Pinheiro. Congratulations to all of the recipients. And it's wonderful. Uh, I agree with Dr. Pinheiro to see you without uh, masks for a change. <laughs> So now uh, we're going to be presenting the awards for the undergraduate awards for um, third year. So we turn our attention to, they're actually the fourth year class, but these are the awards that they received last year. So this group is now in their senior year and will soon start to be part of the graduating class of 2022 at the end of um, this academic year. So to introduce our award winners, um, we welcome the class advisor for this class from the Department of Restorative Dentistry, Dr. Renee Chu. Hello, everyone. It is my pleasure to present the awards for the class of 2022. As a graduating class, I've had the privilege of being their class advisor for the last three and a half years. We have faced many challenges, and though we did not know what was to come when we started this journey together, I can truthfully say that there is no other class that I would want to finish this journey with. So I would now like to call upon the award recipients for the class of 2022 to please turn on your camera when your name is pronounced or announced. Once I have announced which award that you have earned, please turn off your camera so the next person can be announced. Domenica Bueti. Domenica is receiving the Dr. Peter Jackin Memorial Scholarship awarded for the greatest improvement in fixed prosthodontics over second and third year. Paige Daly. Paige has earned the Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8 and is receiving the Dr. R.E. Jordan and M. Suzuki Award in Operative Dentistry for high standing in operative dentistry. Congratulations. Arushi Doan. Arushi has earned the Dr. Edgar N. Cole Memorial Scholarship for high standing in pain and anxiety control. Congratulations. Jessica Gonzalez. Jessica has earned the Endowment Fund Scholarship in Dentistry for academic achievement, positive role modeling, and communication and leadership skills, as well as the Dr. Cal Waddell Western Canada Dental Society Memorial Scholarship for scholarship, leadership, and character. Congrats. Joseph Grauer. Joseph is receiving the F. James Marshall Scholarship in Endodontology, which is offered to the student which has completed the third year of full-time study in the Dr. Gerald Nisnik College of Dentistry and who has attained the highest standing in didactic and clinical endodontics has completed the course in endodontology and it shows the broadest interest in endodontic literature and demonstrates the highest involvement in the field amongst his class. He's also receiving the Dr. M. H. Garvin Prize in Periodontology for achievement in periodontology and patient care. Congratulations. Ramnik Grover. Ramnik has earned the Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8 and is receiving the Dr. J.B. Rumberg and Hester Rumberg Memorial Prize awarded to the student with the highest standing in oral diagnosis and radiology, as well as the Dr. Joseph Freeman Memorial Book Prize for the student who attains the highest standing in oral maxillofacial surgery. Congratulations. Brody Jackson. Brody is receiving the Ross McIntyre scholarship for a minimum GPA of 3.0, along with superior communication, leadership, and role modeling skills, as well as the Alexander H. Kotick Scholarship in Restorative Dentistry for a minimum GPA of 3.5 and demonstrated aptitude in the Restorative Dentistry. Congrats. Edward Lamb. Edward has earned the Dean's Honors with a minimum GPA of 3.8, along with the Dr. Yuri Snirowitz Scholarship for Outstanding Clinical Achievement in Prosthodontics and for demonstrating passion and enthusiasm towards the profession of dentistry, as well as the Manitoba Dental Association Scholarship for High Standing in Pathology, and the Dr. Manley Bowles Memorial Scholarship for the High Standing in Orthodontics. Congratulations. Braden Patterson. Braden is receiving the Dr. A. V. Johnson Memorial Book Prize for highest standing in dental prosthesis, 
the Dr. N. H. Greenberg Memorial Book Prize for Highest Standing Indenture Prosthesis, the Leslie Michael Shelton Memorial Scholarship for highest for academic improvement, participation in activities, and excellent communication skills, as well as the Dr. and Mrs. T. Hector Award for Superior Ability in Major Restorative Treatment. Congratulations. Rita Pucci. Rita is receiving the Dr. William Bloom Prize for Highest Standing in Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Congratulations, Rita. Aaron Quach. Aaron is receiving the Archie McNichol Prize awarded to the student in third year dentistry who has the highest standing in pharmacology and therapeutics. Congratulations. Arunava Rechaujhuri. Arunava is receiving the Dr. Lawrence Stockton Scholarship awarded to a student who is entering their final year of the International Dental Degree Program, has achieved the minimum sessional grade point average of 3.0, is a top ranked student in clinical performance at the end of the first year of the IDP program and has demonstrated a strong ability to communicate with academic and support staff, patients and fellow students and demonstrates qualities of a positive role model to fellow students. Congratulations. Isabella Sorzinski. Isabella is receiving the International College of Dentists Scholarship for scholastics, character, and extracurricular activities. Congratulations. Shirley Wang. Shirley is receiving the Josephine and Lewis Green Scholarship for highest standing in clinical periodontology, as well as the Dr. Jack King Memorial Scholarship for highest standing in periodontology, oral diagnosis, and radiology. Congratulations. And Keaton Wong. Keaton is receiving the Henry Schein Ash Arcona Award for highest academic standing, patient care in pediatric dentistry, and an interest in pediatric public health dentistry. Congratulations. I would like to commend each and every one of you for earning these awards. And you are obviously, you should be very proud of your achievements. And congratulations again. Thank you, Dr. Chu, and congratulations uh, to all these very worthy recipients. We now arrive at the last um, group of our awards for this evening, the presentation of the Isbister and Hogg Scholarships for Dentistry and Dental Hygiene. These are amongst the most prestigious award in our college and as they represent cumulative and continuous outstanding achievement by the recipients. The Isbister Undergraduate Scholarship is awarded to the dental hygiene student with the highest academic standing. The Dr. A. W. Hogg Undergraduate Scholarship is awarded for the highest standing in the second year of the dental hygiene program. The recipient of this award must be on the Dean's honor list. So receiving this honor tonight is Charmaine Carlos. Congratulations, Charmaine. Both the Dr. A. W. Hogg Undergraduate Scholarship and Isbister's Undergraduate Scholarship Award are also offered for students in dentistry. The A. W. Hogg Undergraduate Scholarship is awarded on the basis of eligibility for the Dean's Honor List and for the highest average standing in years one through three. The Isbister Undergraduate Scholarship goes to the dental student with the highest sessional GPA, irrespective of year, once again, excluding the graduation class. So receiving the sauna tonight is Eileen Ovesi. Congratulations, Eileen. We have now arrived at the conclusion of our evening of our award celebration. Before we say good night, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate and thank all of our award winners. As well, I'd also like to offer my thanks and gratitude to you the friends and family of those highlighted here tonight for being virtually present. I hope next year we will be able to do this in person and we'll be able to meet each and every one of you. You may or may not be aware that in the role of supporting your loved ones, you play a very special and important part in their academic lives here at the college. Thank you also to the numerous donors of awards and bursaries Without your support, we would not be able to recognize so many worthy recipients. 
I want to wish all of you a wonderful and safe evening. And thank you again for attending. Have a good night.